Alrighty, hello everyone, my name is Ricky P and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video and today we quickly go through Admiral Piet's uh, marquee event that we will uh, do together and if I can just mute Discord quickly I will start going through the first round. So Piet being an Empire faction um, character, I will choose my empi Empire um, squads <laughs> or actually um, faction. All right. Um, let's put these guys together, see what we can put then Royal Guard, because uh, I know he was part of the, um, and, and Thrawn as the lead. So let's see, quickly, tier one shouldn't be very um, hard anyway, Very should be very simple, very easy. Um, let's see what it looks like. All right, Amiel Piet is an Imperial support who works best alongside other Empire units by providing unique buffs and assist calls while plotting their eventual demise. Intensified firepower deals damage to the target enemy and calls another Empire ally to assist. So if um, Darth Vader assisted here, uh, nothing special. Let's just do basic. I want Piet to uh, play again. Let's see if, uh, I just want to see if Piet will always call Vader or someone else. Okay, so uh, this time it called uh, the Emperor. Uh, first time it called Vader. So it's really, really random. Um, I don't know why. I just wanted to test that out to make sure it was calling really a random uh, um, Empire ally. All right, so we're done with tier uh, first, the first tier. Um, I hope they put him as a leader once in one of the um, events. So there you go. See. Admiral Piet as the leader, so Imperial Troopers here. Let's see how that goes. All right. Um, Imperial Ambition. All allies gain offense up. Piet gains stealth and target allies inflicted with mark and inevitable, inv inevitable failure. When an ally with inevitable failures is defeated, Piet gains bonuses based on that unit's stat and the number of inev inevitable failure stacks they had until the end of the battle, All right? So this is the inevitable failure um, icon here. So uh, interesting, 20 to start with. All right, uh, let's see who's going to assist. So Shore Trooper died, and so Piet should have gained a whole bunch of um, of stats here. So uh, be interesting to see when it's his turn to attack. Suborbital Strike, big hit. And because I killed someone with that ability, everybody has fear. So that's what just happened. And Emperor's Trap also is uh, spreading like wildfire over here. Nice. All right, big AOE. I removed all the fear with that AOE, but uh, anyway. So only one character assisted here. If if so, the basic will call an Empire ally to assist, but I believe that um, also all characters with inevitable failure will assist also with uh, Piet. Not sure I'll have time to test that theory here. So inevitable failure over here. Oh, I killed him. All right, I couldn't test it over here. So uh, another time. All right. Third tier, same uh, squad as my first one. We'll see how this goes. They're probably going to talk about the suborbital strike here. Suborbital strike deals damage to all enemies and dispel buffs on light side enemies. So if you're going against the dark side, forget about it. Allies with inevitable failure gains stack. So I got no one with inevitable failure so far. Uh, I'm going to add some to Darth Vader. Uh, I don't want to waste Merciless. Mer uh, well, I'll kill. All right. Um, can I kill someone with this? No, but uh, if you saw, um, Vader had four. When I did suborbital strike, he had five. And then because he got damage from Biggs, he now had six. 
All right, let's give it back to Piet. I want to play with him again. Um, so, okay, B Biggs has the most help probably. What I'm expecting here is a random ally to attack other than Vader, and Vader should assist also. Well, okay, so Vader was the one assisting, so <laughs> I cannot test my theory here. Uh, not my theory, but I wanted to just to make sure that worked like it was supposed to. Um, I'm probably going to kill someone here. All right. All right, let's test it next next here. I, I wish there was a mode I could just replay some. I mean, I could probably replay this tier like four other times because I have five battles, but it's such a weak opponent on the other side. Uh, I'll see the later the later tiers to see uh, what the uh, what it gives me. All right, forced opponent or forced allies over here with uh, Palpatine, Vader, Shore Trooper, and uh, I think it was a Stormtrooper, the fifth one. All right, let's see. Uh, Zealous Commander provides Empire allies with offense and potency. It also reduces the tenacity and speed of light side enemy, um, which is not <laughs> light side enemies at the moment. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, let's give. Let's fight with. Um, the Emperor here. Uh, let's go after Boba Fett. All right, so see, uh, I called Vader to assist and because the Emperor had um, the um, inevitable failure buff, then he assisted also at the same time. Nice. So see, again, I'm going to use my basic over here. I should have, if Vader, if, if Emperor is not the one called to assist, if one of the other three, uh, Emperor will assist also. So the Emperor assisted. Oh, he assisted twice. Okay. It didn't happen that last time. I wonder if it was um, as expected. All right. I want to try this again. So Vader and Emperor assisted. So, okay. All right. Simple, simple battle. Uh, I should be able to fear on Dengar because I killed. Uh, nice, it's a fun, it's a fun new, like uh, strategy team there to have. Uh, very cool, very cool concept. I like Piet so far. All right, last tier before the bonus. Same, uh, same squad here. My, my, I chose all of them because my Imperial Troopers, they're really low. So um, that's why I have them. But I'm sure Piet would work pretty well with the Imperial Troopers. The Emperor's Trap give Piet counter chance. He also gains turn meter whenever another Empire ally is damaged. All right. Let's give this to... Oh, I misclicked to Royal Guard. Fine, fair enough. All right, so I want to give it back to Piet. Um, so this... Royal Guard assisted. And um, just simple attack because I want Piet to attack back. Let's put dots everywhere. Um, simple attack here. Yeah, my Vader just <laughs> killed it. All right, suborbitals. I want to try some. Is it. Uh, it's an automatic assist. Okay, it's not a percentage assist. Let's get fear on everybody. Hmm. Why did I not get fear? I defeated someone with suborbital attack. Interesting. Unless the dots kill the character first. Hmm. Surprised. I don't know what happened here. I should have had fear on everybody unless I'm missing something all right and bonus tier let's see what kind of opponent we're facing all right the CLS rebel squad all right let's give this to Palpa Palpa team just regular attacks I really want Piet all right this should Kill CLS and fear everybody. There you go. Okay, I don't know why that didn't work uh, earlier on. I want to get Piet back. Um, all right, let's see who assists here. Vader and Emperor because of inevitable failure. Okay, let's go after R2. 
for now. That's ability block on them. Come on, Piet, gain that turn meter. All right, this should be enough to kill Chewbacca uh, just by himself. All right, no need to assist. <laughs> All right, didn't have a chance to test Admiral Piet a lot here. Um, interesting concept, interesting character and gameplay here with his uh, his uh, new mechanic, Inevitable Failure. Definitely something we'll look forward to. Um, I'm going to activate him right away. Um, and I want to see his base speed. 110, okay. It is not that fast, I believe. Not that fast. There you go. Admiral Pieth unlocked. Um, I will try find some way to uh, put some gameplay on that character, maybe by using Galactic War or something. I don't know. I know it's not the best um, place to, to, to try new characters, but it's the only place we have so far. So I'll uh, definitely be looking see to in, looking into it, see how I can uh, test him out or have fun with him because it's it's a, I think that character is as interesting as Mon Mothma, definitely not as defensive. I think he's a more offensive character. Will will give a bit of more um, attack power to the Empire. I think it'll do the same as Mon Mothma did. Mon Mothma brought those other Empire char uh, rebel character out of the shadows, and. Admiral Piet might do that a bit, not to the same extent as Moth Mon Mothma, but probably bring a couple of uh, obscure Empire character out of the uh, shadows. So there you have it, little Admiral Piet spin. I hope you enjoyed my video today, guys. Hey, if you like, give it a like, subscribe, leave a comment. As always, this is Ricky P. It was fun to unlock the new characters with you, and I hope to see you soon on the Hall Tables. Thanks, everyone. See you soon.